All right, folks. This is what's going on with this 10-gallon. I am changing it to a uh, shrimp tank. And I took out a lot of the plants. And I put some uh, java moss over here. A nice big clump in the back. And I put some hiding places. I have some stones I glued together. I hope they're shrimp safe in the back there. And uh, this flame moss I had, I, I think it's flame moss. It might be Christmas moss. Uh, I'm trying to, yeah, I think it's flame moss. Anyway, I hope I got it set up good enough for shrimp. Um, my water perimeters are very good. Uh, so um, the hardness, the pH, I got everything good for cherry shrimp. Um, now, the plenum, I put the uh, tube, so I'm running an under gravel filter now. I was going to put a sponge filter, but being that I had the plenum, I'm going to run it as an under gravel which from what I'm hearing is pretty good for shrimp. I won't pull in any of the uh, newborn. There's no place for them to get sucked into. And uh, if everything goes right, I'll have a nice colony. This here <laughs> is my drop checker glued to a uh, credit card or whatever because the um, suction cup never sticks. So right now I just have it in the front of the tank because uh, I put this new uh, diffuser and the bubbles are just going straight out the tank. So I have to figure a way to get this dispersed. And I have the head of the... Um, under gravel facing where the bubbles come up, hoping that they push the bubbles. I know that's oxygen, but you need oxygen also. If it pushes the bubbles through the tank, I'll be okay. Uh, 